Apple just changed repairability forever, for better and maybe for worse. iOS 18 RC just introduced something that most technicians never thought they'd see. The ability to swap over Apple original pulled parts from one iPhone to the other. By pulled parts, I mean parts that have been taken from another iPhone that hasn't been reported as lost or stolen. Prior to this, iPhones would lose functionality regardless of where the replacement part was obtained. But now, that shouldn't be the case. There are many unknowns though. How does this calibration process work? And what happens if the device is reported as lost or stolen? Does it brick the phone? What does Apple mean by restricted? In front of me are the same iPhone 15 Pro Maxes we did with our repairability test. In that video, we basically swapped motherboards on both phones. So we took one motherboard and put it in the other housing while taking this motherboard and putting it in this housing. That basically simulates replacing every single component on the iPhone. And if Apple left any non-genuine or important messages that reduce functionality of the iPhone, well, we'd find out that way. The boards are still swapped to this day, but this phone is running the latest version of iOS 18, which is supposed to stop those messages from showing up and allow calibration. We're going to go into settings and see if those messages are still there and if we can now calibrate all the new parts to this board. We'll head to settings and hit general. We'll hit about and we have parts and service history. We'll click on that. Okay. It looks like Apple did make some changes. Instead of important messages or instead of non-genuine messages, it now says finish repair, which indicates that there is some sort of calibration process we can go through to make sure that these new components that aren't the original components this motherboard came with can be calibrated. Let's go through these prompts and see exactly what the calibration process entails. It's me from the future. We actually missed one message. It's that the back glass now needs to be calibrated. The process is very similar to calibrating that of the display or the battery. Um, really strange move by Apple, but I mean, we all saw this coming. We'll head to battery. It says a new battery was detected. Restart to configure your new battery for this iPhone. That's interesting. We'll head to camera. It also says the same thing. So just restart to configure your new rear camera for this iPhone. Display also says the same thing, and so does Face ID. So if we hit restart and finish repair, technically everything should be calibrated and this phone should work as a brand new phone. This is very suspicious and not something I thought I'd ever see from Apple. So the phone just turned off, it's obviously restarting, and when it turns back on, everything should work as usual. This sounds a little too good to be true, so at the end of the video, we're gonna report the phone as lost or stolen and see exactly what happens when you use parts from a phone that's reported lost or stolen. But for now, let's see what happens with this phone. We'll hit continue, continue again, repair assistant and privacy, we have to agree to the terms. And now it just says configuring. The screen is a little bit dim. I can't increase the brightness right now, unfortunately. So it's now brought us to this menu. It says the rear camera is an Apple genuine part, which is true, but it says this part is not functioning as expected for face ID, which shouldn't be the case. It also says the display is activation locked to someone else's Apple account, which is obviously my Apple account, but it shouldn't be activation locked because I haven't reported the part as lost or stolen. So that's already quite odd. The battery also says the same thing. We'll hit continue. Very strange. So yeah, face ID just won't work for some reason. No idea why. Okay, interesting. So it's now giving me a prompt to unlock the parts. That's pretty cool actually. It says multiple parts locked to owner, which is obviously me, and you can unlock with the Apple account. So uh, I'm gonna try and unlock it with the Apple account and see what happens. Now it says configuring. So we're prompted now with a camera calibration page. Let's see what this entails. 
But every time I tried to calibrate the camera, the phone would skip the process and ask to restart the phone. After a few attempts with this, I just decided to try signing out of the iCloud on the other phone, the phone where all the parts came from. And now we have the display that's a genuine Apple part and it's approved. Everything is green here up until the face ID. It's saying that it doesn't work which it should because we've swapped the boards back, retested Face ID, we know these components work, um, but we'll have to explore that a little bit later. We're gonna hit continue and see exactly what happens when we reboot this phone. So now we're going through a configuration and we're at the camera calibration page, we'll hit continue. So it wants us to stand about 1.2 meters from objects and slowly turn our device from left to right. Let's see if this works this time. All right. The only thing I could think of that could be causing this issue is the LiDAR sensor. Pro model iPhones use the LiDAR sensor to take better pictures, especially portrait mode pictures. Because of this, I decided to give the phone back its original LiDAR scanner and see if that works. To my surprise, it did. The camera calibrated. The thing is though, that means the LiDAR scanner is still completely serialized with no workaround or potential calibration process. There's always a catch with Apple. Face ID was a whole other monster. I tried absolutely everything to get it working, like retesting to see if it still works in the first place. And even completely restoring the iPhone using iTunes. Nothing was working on my end, but other technicians have verified that Face ID can work again, so we'll have to give Apple the benefit of the doubt on this one. Now that we know how the iOS 18 calibration works, it's time to figure out what happens if a phone is reported as lost or stolen and you take its parts. So we returned all of the original parts back to each phone. They're all currently working and running with the original parts. And we also factory reset both phones, so they're all good to go. Each phone has a separate iCloud account attached to it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to report this phone as lost or stolen, and then we're gonna factory reset it so that it's at an activation lock screen and the phone is completely like a brick you can't use it at that point and then we're gonna rob some of its parts and put it into this phone and see exactly what happens when you try to use those parts I think this is where it gets interesting um, we're gonna hit restart and finish repair and see what happens the phone might honestly brick when we hit this there's only one way to find out but the phone didn't brick nothing happened there was no locks, but we couldn't calibrate the back camera because of the same LiDAR issue. Now I'm really confused. All right, this has been incredibly glitchy. We've been running tests for three days and we couldn't get to this menu ever again. We tried running tests on a whole different set of phones. No luck, but we did learn quite a bit along the way. The display and battery are seemingly the only parts that are completely locked to the phone. If one is used on another device without removing the locks, they will be treated as aftermarket parts and have reduced functionality. If you do remove the locks, you will get all of the original functionality back with a genuine part service history, which isn't a bad thing at all. There have been a few reports of phones being bricked after opening the repair assistant and trying to calibrate unactivated parts, but that hasn't been our experience and I honestly don't think Apple would do that. That's a bit too far. The back LiDAR scanner is definitely paired with the rear camera and you can't calibrate the rear camera if you're using a different LiDAR scanner than the one that the phone came with. We verified that on both sets of phones. This is all still super new and still super glitchy. We'll know more once it gets polished and update you guys in the future, but that's pretty much all of the conclusive information we could give you guys. All in all, this seems to be more of a positive update to Apple's anti-repair tactics than a negative one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and uh, I'll make an update when I know more. Peace.